And we've seen so many people, the majority of people on the other side, just, just go with the flow, just comply, don't question, or they've looked at the evidence and they think that, well, actually, I think this pandemic response is going pretty well. Um, isn't it interesting what makes the difference between people like that? You know, do you think, if you think back on your, your upbringing, your parents, I don't know, other things that influence who people become, the kind of character that we get, what's the difference, do you think? What makes you the way you are um, and other people the way Trudeau is? Or, um, you know, people who are just compliant and happy to go with the flow, what makes that difference, do you think? These characteristics of, of who, who, who sees things clearly, who's willing to state things clearly, who's potentially willing to take risks and who isn't, uh, you know, th these actually divide families uh, that, that many times families are not united along these lines. You know, one analogy to think of is, uh, let's say you had a foreign invader coming down the street and they are invading your neighborhood. We're talking with, with army tanks and soldiers there would be a few people who uh, jumped outside and said, listen, I'm going to fight. I'm going to fight to the very end. That's wrong. They're trying to take over our neighborhood. There would be a lot of people who would stay inside and close the blinds in their windows and just say, you know what, I'm going to try to hopefully let this pass. And then there would be a few detractors. There'd be detractors to say, listen, let them come in. Whatever you do, don't try to fight them. Uh, you know, just, just go along with this. Um, I think it's the reaction to the invasion of a foreign invader. First, the foreign invader was SARS-CoV-2, the infection, and now the invader is the vaccines. The vaccines represent something. Obviously, the vaccines represent something far more than COVID-19, you know, biology. They're symbolic of something. <clears throat> and all the world seems to be rotating about the vaccine. Listen, in Canada, it may be AstraZeneca, Pfizer, and Moderna, but in Indonesia, it's Sinovac. And in Chile, it's, you know, it's a different vaccine. So it's not dependent on a vaccine manufacturer. It's not dependent on, it doesn't even matter if the vaccines work. You know, Sinovac has effectiveness that's never been effective. And yeah. yet everyone's like this tethered to taking one of these vaccines. But you're right. And it seems like there's a, um you know, like a paradigm shift, not just in our thinking about medicine, but you've been talking about this idea, you know, that the American president or that our lawmaker, you know, our lawmakers or our law enforcers could, could force us to do this. That's a paradigm shift, not just in medicine, but in thinking about freedom in a Western democracy. Um, and I think many people feel, I certainly feel like if we lose this battle, we have lost everything that we fought for at least for a couple, you know, a few hundred years in America and a couple hundred years in Canada. And, you know, and if we think about other uh, democracies or other uh, Commonwealth countries or, um, and so it feels like everything is on the line. And if we're wrong about this, what else are we wrong about? I've heard that from so many people that, you know, why is it that people want to hold on to the narrative? Because if they're, you know, if they're wrong in trusting our government now, then their whole belief system falls apart. 